This morning, signs of improvement for famed author Salman Rushdie. His agent confirming to the Associated Press Saturday the 75-year-old is off the ventilator and talking, despite roughly a dozen stab wounds across his body, according to the Chautauqua County District Attorney. His accused attacker, 24-year-old Hadi Matar, was arraigned on second-degree attempted murder and assault charges, but pled not guilty. Witnesses say the suspect stormed the stage just before Rushdie was going to lead a discussion on protecting freedom of speech. Dr. Martin Haskell among those to rush to the author's aid. I think the prompt medical care that he received from the physicians that initially got up on stage uh, undoubtedly saved his life. Officers on site had taken the suspect into custody. We assess for every event what we think the appropriate security level is, why we had um, state trooper and sheriff presence there. But some attendees argue that wasn't enough, considering the decades of threats Rushdie faced since publishing The Satanic Verses, his 1988 novel considered blasphemous by some Muslims, leading to calls for his killing. Iran's government has not publicly commented on Friday's attack, but some in Tehran celebrating. This is pleasing and shows those who insult the sacred things of Muslims, in addition to punishment in the afterlife, will get punished in this world too. Two law enforcement officials tell NBC News a leading theory in the case is that the suspect acted alone and was inspired by Iran-related extremism. Prosecutors called Friday's attack a pre-planned, unprovoked stabbing, saying the suspect took a bus to get to Chautauqua County. He had false identification on him, and he bought a ticket in advance in order to gain entry into Rushdie's lecture. Hallie. Emily, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.